Well hello fellow El Cassette lovers. Here you see my Sony EL5 El Cassette which I am about to restore and I would like to share my findings with you. I've already took off the front panel which is easy enough but I'm now going to show you how to remove the back plate here which uh, there's, there's a trick to that. Uh, first I took off this cap that sits here over the tape heads and I removed these screws here for the back plate. Now the easiest way to do that because the back plate won't come off that that easy. It, it will get stuck here. Um, it uh, won't be easy to take it out like this. The trick is there are these little pins here at the side of the side at the side plates and when you push them in very gently the mechanism will come out further and then you can take out the back panel quite easily. So this is the inner life of the L5 Alcacet. Well, probably the best thing to do first is to go over all the moving uh, parts and joints and clean off the old uh, grease that will be uh, hardened and will avoid the mechanisms from moving smoothly. Well, some of the things I use to uh, remove the hardened grease are first the magic stuff WD-40 and some, some cotton swabs Maybe some wooden pins to reach all the hard to reach places. And some tweezers to really scrape off the excess of hard grease. Uh, a bit in, uh, in detail. Um, like I said, I use a cotton swab dipped in the WD-40 and with that yeah, well uh, I already did this once uh, of course so you don't see any real uh, hardened uh, grease anymore but just tip it and it will flow over the, the old grease and soften it and take away the excess uh, grease and so go over all the uh, mechanical moving joints until all the mechanism moves smooth. And then of course also the back side uh, will need some attention. In fact the same attention as uh, on the front side. Go over all the moving joints and, uh, and hinges and uh, soften the old uh, lubricant and uh, re-lubricate everything. So all these moving joints and also the solenoids and the moving parts that are attached to the solenoids go over them all and remove the, the, the hardened uh, grease uh, that is on there. And then of course the belts. You will need new belts. They've been on there so long that they have been worn out. Um, well, I've ordered mine from this address and they really do fit nice so that's a tip order your belts from this address the next best thing uh, would probably be to see if all the mechanisms uh, work as they should um, well there are these three solenoids here one, two, three, and you can easily manually 
activate them by just pushing on this brass uh, plate that sticks out here. And I already re-greased all the points so that I can show you how the mechanisms should move. I now will first show you um, how the mechanisms uh, should move uh, when the upper solenoid is uh, depressed. See all the levers go when I depress it and when I release it, it smoothly moves back to their original position. And now I'll show you the, the second, the middle solenoid. So this is how all these parts should move. And now depress the bottom solenoid. And then you see all these parts move. Very important this wheel here. Okay. That's how it should be.